Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Ignite You today. Yes, I got a new haircut and I'm sure most of you had had a haircut recently as well. Okay, anyway, moving on. So, this today we're doing our second cycle and second topic of the second cycle which is foundation in Jesus. Yes, amen, amen, amen. Well, announcements any let me think well the two as usual don't forget to fill in the form if you uh, to join the team number two don't forget to fill in the form to upgrade the youth area and number three i just want to let you all know that we cannot wait to see you soon so continue to be with us in your life groups and we know that most of you are also having exams at the moment so we pray for god's anointing and God's blessings on you as you take your exams but do not forget to continuously meet together as a life group because there's nothing like being in a community with friends. So with all that we're going to jump into worship and right after worship we're going to have our lessons. So in all things God bless, see you all soon and take care. Come on, let's sing together. There's a song that stirs the spirit and it calls our heart to life It's an anthem in the making Can you feel it start to rise? Can you hear the generations Getting louder over time? Every son and every daughter Singing out into the night It's not time to be silent Don't you dare hide your light there's a world outside your window, so don't let it pass you by. Lift your hands to the heavens, lift your voice to the sky. Praise the Lord of all creation, let His name be lifted high. Sing it From the famous to the faceless, from the palace to the streets, I can feel that drumbeat pulsing and it's calling you and me. I can hear the world awaken, oh that sound is heavenly. Every tribe and every nation singing Jesus, I believe. It's not time, it's not time to be silent. Don't you dare hide your light. There's a world outside your window, so don't let it pass you by. Lift your hands to the heavens, lift your voice to the sky. Praise the Lord of all creation. Let his name be lifted high, sing it oh, 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 oh. Sing this bridge together, see the world. See the world light up, one heart at a time. See the strong holds break in the blink of an eye. Death and all our sin, nowhere in sight. For the Lord, He is alive. See the lost return from the dead of the night. Every captive free, every chain left behind. Have you ever seen such a beautiful sight? All the world coming alive. One time. See the world light up, one heart at a time. See the strong holds break in the blink of an eye. Death and all our sin, nowhere in sight. For the Lord, He is alive. Amen. See the lost return from the dead of the night. Every captive free, every chain left behind. Have you ever seen such a beautiful sight? All the world coming alive. It's not time to be silent. Don't you dare hide your light. There's a world outside your window, so don't let it pass you by. Lift your hands to the heavens, lift your voice to the sky. Praise the Lord of all creation, let His name be lifted high. I grew up in a good family. I had parents who loved me. Nothing was really wrong. It was pretty comfortable. 
I went to church every Sunday, but I, I don't think I understood a lot of what I heard. I never really thought much about him. It wasn't on a deep enough level for me to make me want to pursue him more, understand more. People knew me as a really nice and funny guy. I just wanted people to like me, and I did the nice, generous things, but that had nothing to do with, with God. That had everything to do with how my parents had raised me and how other people viewed me. I found my identity in other people and what they thought of me, in the sports I played, in the girls that liked me, in the jokes I would tell and the laughs I could get out of them not understanding that I needed him. I didn't feel like I needed him for anything because I felt like I was okay. Just compared to everyone else that I heard about doing all these bad things, you know, I was a good, nice kid. I didn't, I didn't feel like I needed to depend on God for anything because I had it all together. Yeah, I really felt pride, um, prideful about the fact that I didn't do these other things, that I wasn't even considering drinking or smoking or do anything with my girlfriend or being mean to people because I cared so much about what others thought about me. Going into my junior year, I, I didn't have a girlfriend anymore. I quit basketball, which was something I was known for. And so I just tried, I tried really hard junior year searching for my self-worth in other people. And that left me feeling empty, all year and and hopeless and semi depressed in the midst of all that I started you know trying to read the bible I felt I felt kind of more drawn towards god than I had been before god really started I think tugging at my life and moving things around and pulling me closer to to him throughout my whole junior year I really just understood how I needed Jesus just as much as every other person It was just like recently this year that I started struggling with questioning, you know, is Jesus Christ the only way? It was really hard for me because I have so many friends from different backgrounds, from Muslim to all of these different things. So for so long, I always questioned, like, I was on fire, on fire for God. Then all of a sudden, it just hit me. Like, facts started kicking in. I started taking classes about evolution, classes learned about different religions, and it kind of left my mind confused. At first, like when I started struggling with different religions, it helped me so captive. Like I didn't exactly know how to approach it. I didn't exactly know how to act around them. Just being around different people of different religions, it kind of made it really hard for me. So I started, I started bat battling kind of with my faith and it got really hard to hold on. My peers kind of made me feel pressured, pressured to not express those things around them, pressured to not be who I really was. It made me feel like I couldn't express my faith as much. Like it made me feel like if I was to, you know, talk to somebody about Christ or talk to somebody about God, they'll be quick to fire back at me. Like, how do you know that that's true? You know, they'll start pouring facts on me, you know, and I was afraid that they would start really like making my, my faith so thin. These people, like, they're so, they seem so much in love with God, but they don't know the Son. And if Jesus Christ is the only way, you know, does that mean that they go to hell? Of course, I've asked myself that. And it makes me want to, you know, to spread the love of Christ more to them. And I try to love on them and love on them to show them, you know, this is something different. You know, and I know that God, He, he he's, he's put me around these people for a certain reason, so.